In my previous video about the new Spitfire Labs update, I was giving you guys a walkthrough of the plugin and in my excitement, I didn't really notice the fine print that came with the new update. And because I updated my labs and it worked for me, I thought, hey, it works for everybody. Little did I know that people actually had problems with it and they let me know in my comments. So the purpose of this video is to attempt to address all those problems and hopefully you guys can be happy with the update as well. First question is by at Mahal Coca. I'm not going to read the rest because I'm just going to butcher it. Brother, I used to have BBC Symphony Orchestra from the old labs. It was given for free to accounts who requested for it. Do you know how to find it in the new labs? The short answer to this question is that they've recently separated the two apps. So you now have labs by itself and then you have BBC Symphony Orchestra by itself. So if you aren't finding it in your labs or in your DAW, all you need to do is go re-download the BBC Symphony Orchestra and reinstall it. And then you'll find that it's a separate application inside your DAW. For example, BBC Orchestra and this is the new look labs at Marco B. How do I get this into my FL door? I've been trying to figure this out for hours. Anyone know? It's not integrating with my older instance of labs. This one is also an easy fix. One, you need to uninstall your old instance of labs. Two, you need to go to your FL Studio, click on add more plugins, click on manage plugins. While here, you want to enable rescan previously verified plugins. And then you want to do the search again by clicking find installed plugins. Once done, you can just search here. You want to just highlight the new instance, which is the VST3 plus VST plugin. And then you should be able to open it in your DAW without any hiccups. At Dino Duck 1234, can't get this into my FL Studio. I have downloaded Soft Piano but can't find it in the FL Studio's plugin manager. I don't have the old instance of the software. How do I get it to work in FL Studio? So this issue sounds like an installation problem and you might have just installed the standalone version instead of both the VST and the VST3 version. So what you want to do is re-download the labs installation, start it and then click next. You want to accept the agreement, next again. And then here where it's showing you the different types of plugins that you can get, you want to make sure that VST3 3 is ticked, VST is ticked. If you're using Pro Tools and software like that, then you can use the AAX as well. Standalone is standalone. It doesn't open in any DAW. And then you want to click next. Just make sure that your installation folders are correct. For example, my VST folder is wrong. It's going to cakewalk. So I want to change that to the correct VST plugin folder. Once you're happy with everything, you want to click install. I'm not going to install it because I've already got it installed on my PC and I don't want to create problems for myself. It broke my 50 plus projects. If Spitfire, I'll never touch their product ever again there or there whichever one this problem was actually fixed by another user at moron or moron a389 i hope i'm saying that right i'm not trying to insult you he says the problem is fixed i just had to uninstall the earlier version so in this case where you open up your project in your daw and labs and your daw is looking for the old instance of labs it could be that it's clashing between the old instance and the new instance of labs so uninstall the old instance and that should fix your problem escape kai took me 20 minutes to find that damn button to hide the preset library thanks lol the button that he's referring to here may seem trivial but it took me hours as well to find it and it's because of labs' new ui when you open labs it presents you with these libraries that you can download or upgrade to but it doesn't open up like the old labs where you can tweak the volume or reverb and all those effects what you're looking for is this button here that looks like a windows button to be honest and you want to click it and then it opens up your traditional labs panel where you can play with the volume as well as your effects at Addies 2336, I'm unable to load library in it. How to solve this? So how I initially understood this is because I had the similar problem to this. I was loading libraries in labs, but I wasn't hearing anything. Only to find out that there's a volume section that I didn't know about. And mine is set to zero. So I was loading presets, but not hearing anything as I play until I figured, hey, there's a volume here. So I increased it and then... I can now finally hear my sounds. Anyway, those are all the questions that I have so far and I hope that I've answered it to the best of my abilities and it helps you solve these problems. If you are experiencing problems that aren't mentioned in this video today, please drop them in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible with answers to those questions. In the meantime though, please don't hesitate to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button. And if you did enjoy this video, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.